Jam on Toast! Hey there, welcome to Jam on Camera. Daily Toast is to your next. Now this is a review for week 55 of hashtag we are a movie club. This week's pick is mine. So the short sale on this one is that a family comes under attack by a group of vicious murderers. My love for this one is that instead of everyone just being incapable, there's at least one person who has their shit together and ready to actually deal with the situation. At least be smarter than a bag of rocks, you know? Might hate it even more than, like, leaving good weapons in dead people. That two brothers were in on the plot. Oh, I just spoiled it for you. Ooh. But it, it, it was a decidedly bad choice to me because it was like the movie was over and then it kept going and I I just couldn't, I couldn't support that in the thing. I, I liked everything else about it, but um, there's some breach of a suspense of disbelief, if you will. My MVP by far was Shammy Vinson, the Australian lady who kicked everybody's ass. Fuck yeah. Uh, that was awesome. Go you, girl. Uh, I, I love seeing that role. It's, it's, it's great. I love that, like, uh, the foreign chick was the one to step up and save the day <laughs> with all these fat lazy Americans, especially this family of, uh, spoiled little kids, it seems like. But let's get on to the categories. Aesthetics. This movie is shot really well. It made a lot of use out of, like, dark, even though most of it happens in the house. Having the windows be pretty much black from night made a huge difference. Having a lot of them come out from the, the shadows is a lot of good imagery. The music was on pace with the story at the different times. There wasn't any silly sound effect errors or anything that you typically get with gunplay because most of this was knives and axes and arrows and such. And, um... Uh, the, a lot of the practical effects for the wounds and everything was done superbly. Um, there were several points where things happened, and I was you get that like phantom pain. You're like, oh gosh. Um, but just having the masks on the villains really makes a difference because it removes the humanity from the killer, and it's not even like pent up rage. It's just cold, calculated sociopathy and uh, psychopathy, probably more likely, but still. Uh, it definitely amps it up, and especially something like a lamb as the the mask. That that was a nice touch on behalf of the uh, the people in charge. The status gets a ninety. Character development. Admittedly, there wasn't a whole lot, but they definitely did it well. You got the asshole brother who's always trying to pick fights. You've got the the girlfriends and such that are just trying to be nice. You've got the the lovely young. Uh, daughter who's lost weight you never acknowledged me and like they really built her up as a character in such a short amount of time super well and then <laughs> things happen um they even i mean just like with a brief dinner conversation they did a lot of work on several different characters and the characters who had the longevity in the movie they definitely developed like maybe not to the point where like you can relate to why they do what they do but you could definitely see some reasonability in all of it, and it was really interesting to see that happen. Character development gets an 85. Storyline. I'll be honest, as much as I like the movie, there's not a lot of storyline here. It's, hey, somebody wants to knock off a bunch of rich folks, so they try to murder them in mass, and that's what it is. And it's all of them reactionary. There's no big motive story. There's no huge metaphor that ties the movie all together. There's really not. It's it's a little bit of action for action's sake, but at least there's uh, the drama of the motivation and the mystery behind what's actually happening to help spur on that action. So it, this is my type of action movie, but it's it's far from perfect. Storyline gets an eighty. Compulsion. I think this is really fun. I like strategic movies. I like uh, slasher films because, oh, someone's trying to murder us. What do we do? How do we deal with the scenario? And there's obviously a lot of permutations of actions that you can explore to find a winning path. Uh, it's very similar to watching someone play a video game. It's like, oh, they could do this, this, or this, um, but it's real life-ish, so it's analog instead of digital. Um, so it's really fun to see these type of movies. It's really fun to see these type of movies done well, but again, not 
not perfect by any means. They, they could have had some better actors here or there. They could have had some better choices for different things. But uh, and I never quite got there where I'm like, okay, I can see where they're coming from. Because even if I didn't like my family that much, I don't know. <laughs> uh, arranging this mass murder, like through hiring people and whatnot, it seems a little uh, far-fetched to, to deal with. Compulsion gets at 87. Now, if total all that up, you get an average of a 5.5. For my rep review, I'm going to say it's not the best action movie. It's not the best slasher movie, but it's pretty good. It's got an interesting execution and a very interesting premise to go with it. So, I give it a win. But once again, this was review for hashtag We Are Movie Club. Uh, this week's pick was mine. Next week's pick is Charlie with Turbo. So, be sure to check that out. Yeah. Um, it's one of those cartoony kids movies that Charlie loves. I'm looking forward to, to watching it for him, but I don't think I would ever watch it again on my own. So that's it for me. Have a nice day. I am Camerai. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channels.